today we are going to look at some more errors that people make in their everyday speech and writing as far as the English language is concerned. We have always said it here that a lot of the things that we hear and see in print are in the newspapers, in essays that people write and so on, are incorrect. But because we may not be able to know that they are incorrect, we in turn copy from what we hear or what we see in print. That is natural because a human being is a a, a person. A, every person is a person of habit. A human being is a you know a being of habit. We copy from what others say. We copy from what others write, so that we ourselves you know want to use what others have said or written. But if you are always on the lookout for the fact that a lot of the things we hear and see are incorrect, then we will be discerning enough to throw away the chaff and pick only what is good. Only yesterday in a discussion program on radio, I had a woman, I wouldn't know whether it's a girl or a woman, but it's a, f f a female who, to all intents and purposes, uh, was good at speaking English, or so it seemed to, to everybody, until she said uh, somebody has been, has, has been stealing gutters. Somebody has been distilling gutters. Apparently, she wanted to say that person has been desilting. And then she ended up saying distilling. And she didn't say it once or twice, but three times. Sometimes, maybe, I, I think it, it might even have said it four times, using the same word, distilling, instead of desilting. And these are some of the errors that we come across every day in our, you know, when we listen to people or when we see people, when we look at what people have written. The person who made that statement thinks she knows so much English that, you know, she was comfortable repeating this in the stealing gutters, the stealing gutters, the stealing gutters. The word the steal can only be used in the process of uh, changing uh, fermented something into alcohol. So we see uh, the, with the company called Gihok Distilleries, where they distill alcoholic beverages. Uh, I, I know of the Herb Afrik and, uh, and uh, <laughs> other, other genes that are provide to, uh, uh, um, produced by that company. Over there, they distill, which means they convert fermented uh, whether it is palm wine or whatever, into alcohol. When you go to the place where they prepare a petition, what the word we should do is that they distill a petition. Whether it is in the bush or whatever, it is a distillery, in a rural, rural, rural distillery where they actually change the fermented palm wine into alcohol. We can never di distill gutters when it means we are taking out the accumulated sand and uh, filth to make for easy flow of water. That should be desilt. We desilt gutters, not we, 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 we distill gutters. The same uh, female I'm talking about said something like, uh, or need, neither of the 10 regions can be, uh, can, not, neither of the 10 regional capitals can claim to have a mayor. He, the, 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 I think the discussion was about the Accra Mayor, Dr. Nee uh, Van Der Poy, you know, going by the name Mayor. And the girl was trying to tell us that in Ghana, no uh, the municipal chief executive or metropolitan could go by the name Mayor. And she started by saying that neither of the 
10 regional capitals can claim to have a mayor. Everybody is a municipal or metropolitan chief executive. And the use of the word neither, neither or neither in that expression was, was, was totally incorrect. Because in English, we restrict the word neither or neither for only two things. Not three, not, of course, not ten. So the person who is 